after a long hard day at work, time to unwind and play some Yu-Gi- Chucky, what is that? Oh, <laughs> this? Psst. Dragon Ball Z, fool. You're the fucking program. Yu-Gi-Oh sucks. But weren't you just talking about how much you loved Yu-Gi-Oh and how Master Rule 4 made the game better? I mean, call me stupid, but just yesterday you were buying booster boxes. Man, that was yesterday. This is now. Bro, you won't even believe how cheap these cards and look, I traded in all of my Yu-Gi-Oh cards and I picked up this cool deck. I mean, bro, you gotta get into this game. It's way better than Yu-Gi-Oh. It has so many features that are just like, man, I'm telling you, you don't even play with life points anymore. You're telling me you traded in your entire Yu-Gi-Oh collection to pick up a Dragon Ball Super. You know, I'm not even gonna get into that. Let me guess, this game has Either using cards as your life points so you don't got to keep in track like Pokemon. Or, and it also has some type of resources that your cards also can be like Magic or Pokemon. And it also has other mechanics from various other card games which makes it more appealing to play this card game. Because it's like every card game except it doesn't have the intricacies of the said card game. Yeah, how, how'd you know? Th this game is like, like Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, like all in one, except better because you don't have to worry about hand traps or, or you know, you know, same stale meta decks. You know what's the real problem with Yu-Gi-Oh? The real problem with Yu-Gi-Oh is that there's always one deck dominating the format. And nobody really likes that. Everybody likes diversity. And that's what Dragon Ball Super brings to the game. It's so much diversity. You know Dragon Ball Super is in its infancy, right? And even still, there were, like, Bionic Frieza dominating the top tables at one point in time. I mean, I do give you guys kudos. You know, the biggest regional or the biggest event for Dragon Ball C you know, was at ARG Las Vegas, and it did have diversity, but at the same time, it's like the game isn't old enough to experience a power creep that other card games have had. That's because Bandai actually cares about the community. They won't allow one deck formats to just come out of nowhere and dominate. Dragon Ball Super is so much better than any card game out there, and it's going to last a long time. It's not going to go under like the other Dragon Ball card games. And you forget that Yu-Gi-Oh has, I don't know, a 15-year track record in the North America. I mean, it's not going anywhere. It's a card game that has been around and probably will be around for as long as Magic has been around. I mean, you can talk about how Dragon Ball Super is an awesome card game, which I haven't played, so I don't know. But Yu-Gi-Oh isn't going anywhere. Bruh, Yu-Gi-Oh is dead. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. La 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 la. Yes, 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 it is, it is, it is, it is, it is. It's fucking dead. Okay. Give me one. You know, give me three good reasons why I should even consider Dragon Ball Z. Bruh. Cheap competitive decks. Bruh. Prize support. Bruh. Nostalgia. Bruh. Okay. We're gonna play. One week later. Oh man. I'm so happy I gave up Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragon Ball Super it. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, bro, we're done with Dragon Ball Super. I mean Yu-Gi-Oh's where it's at. I mean, what, what was I thinking? No, nigga! Shoot the fade! What, what do you what do you what do you mean? I, I just Get just, your Dragon Ball Z deck I now! I now! I, I don't, I don't give a fuck. Don't Get it now! No more Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragon Ball Super! I don't. Kamehameha!